The Whiskey Brothers Podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problem. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast starts now. Welcome to episode 738 of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast. Oh, shit. Look at us in the studio. Uh, Slade Hand, Trey Tuts, and Rob Mungle. Yeah. Uh, our good friend from the Old Double Distilling Company, uh, still in the studio, Joseph Breda. Cheers, gentlemen. You, uh, you're you pouring up, and I, 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 I have to go back to this. The barrel proof. Um, barrel proof straight whiskey. Straight whiskey. Single barrel, double barrel. That, sound, that sounds like a Quentin Tarantino film. <laughs> barrel, proof. barrel proof. Yeah. It's it's a so here's the thing. It comes so so when something comes out barrel proof. When you when you get it when you get it in a it bottle. It opens with eighty niggas. That's the <laughs> <laughs> when you when you get a whiskey in a reg in a in a store a regular eighty proof or ninety proof whiskey, it's it's been cut right. Correct. How so? How does that? It comes off the still anywhere between one twenty and one sixty, usually around one fifty or so. Okay. It goes into the barrel. Below 120, and it what goes into are, the bottle on, above 80 proof. Is that okay. the proof? <laughs> let's, sorry, yeah. so let's let's those break this down. Let's break yeah. this down for sure. About 180, 160. Then right. is a Do you know what those numbers mean at all? Mm-mm. Let's start so at the, let's start at the beginning. Proof is okay. Alcohol. Earth had no form. The, Go ahead. The, the percentage. <laughs> the proof is the alcohol percentage doubled. Right. So if it's so 80 proof is 40 percent alcohol. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. The reason they do that is because reasons. Yeah, <laughs> that's as much detail as you're going to get. History, tradition. Whatever. So this, this is about 60% alcohol. Roughly. Because oh. it's 120 proof, which is yeah. stronger than... 100% but, but, delicious. Right. Now, here's the thing <laughs> is when, when, when people equate proof to... And I want to dig down and do a bunch of craft talk. You know we don't do that. But the, there's an equivalency between proof and strength. And people go, oh, it's a higher proof. This is going to kill me. And we were we were talking earlier, and I don't want to I don't want to cross over and bring up other brands, but the the bottle of Willet that was down here earlier, right, um, is a I think 120 proof or so. And if you did the shot, you cannot tell. And I say that to say uh, you brought this out at 120 proof, and your expectation is that it's going to be harsher mm-hmm. than. It, and this is just warm and cuddly. It tastes like a couple making love in your mouth. Ugh. That is good tasting. A lesbian notes. couple. Yeah, yeah sure. Oh, sure. Okay. Okay. A lesbian I was couple. Those are the kind of tasting fat, notes that I like to have. <laughs> That's a white couple. I don't want to hear oaky or. or Nobody want to hear no country fucking. I want to hear it tastes like unicorn, uni, unicorn farts. That, that, yeah. that also, if, if that's your thing. If that, okay, <laughs> so if you wanted to taste like unicorn farts. How come you haven't thought of making any like cotton candy flavored whiskey? Because <laughs> I am a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there are women who buy, and that's right. It is more bitches can, than men. They can buy cotton candy. Yeah, that flavored whiskey, whiskey. shit. I, I would think it would be impossible. It's to more make. bitches than women, actually. <laughs> oh, Rob, look at Rob trying to do the standard. I'll get him to make a cotton candy no, no, flavored I'm think, whiskey. I'm thinking by. it would be impossible. Of I, course, I, that's how you get somebody to make a cotton candy I've, flavored whiskey. I've tasted uh, cotton uh, candy uh, and marshmallow moonshine. Okay. Yeah, it's yummy. Is it really? Delicious. Yeah, nice. A vanilla cream. It's basically ah, a vanilla see, yeah, cream. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, had, I've, had, that, the, I've had the apple pie moonshine that's very sweet and it'll get uh-huh. you fucked up, but I also don't feel like there's any legitimate uh, reason. But no, no, there's no <laughs> legitimate yeah. uh, distilling an art happening. To, you're just putting a bunch of sugary ah, shit in, yeah. in yeah. anything. Apple crown? You, you know what else? <laughs> apple crown roll? You know what else? Yeah, delicious. Uh, apple no. juice and whiskey. Tastes like that grandpa's works. burps. You know how you can make a <laughs> vanilla cream whiskey? Put a Take one of those s'mores uh, uh, marshmallows and put it in your whiskey. Sure. And drink it. I, or Magic. drink the whiskey and then... Do other shit. Yeah, have dessert. There's that too. Drink, drink whiskey and have dessert. Cotton candy that has too. such a weird, unique flavor. That would be interesting to. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how There's you do a that. big enough market out of the, out there of people doing stuff with whiskey yeah. that I'm okay with making sure. whiskey. That's and that's that's the that's what I applaud you yeah. on. It's uh we, anyway we're. I mean, I could take a barrel of whiskey and ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> or you could take a bottle sure. of whiskey and ruin it. Do so, you have? So okay. go ahead. What's wrong with the cotton candy whiskey? <laughs> it's the same thing. That's. There's nothing wrong. He doesn't with want it. to do it's a flavor. Not what I yeah, want to it's do. Not a, he's not a flavor. That's all. Profile guy. He's more of a uh, making good whiskey. I guy. like whiskey. Yeah. So you saying you can't make good cotton candy whiskey? <laughs> That's it, fair. That's what I'm. Hearing. <laughs> I'll take that. You can't make good cotton candy whiskey. First I, of all, I can't make cotton candy whiskey that I think is good. If yeah. you would make cotton candy whiskey, you would get that other bitch in your marriage, <laughs> you'd have, and then you would be free from watching The Good Place. <laughs> 
because that is a wife influence show. <laughs> so on, on, on a small break, Trey has been. We have, and I, I, I won't get into this. No, we'll have to get into uh, Not in its entirety. Uh, there are, there are, there was an episode coming up in September that we yeah. taped with the, uh, with the ever funny Mike McRae, uh, in which Trey will. There will be a revelation. We'll talk more about that after it happens in September. Uh, yeah. But on the break, you, you, and and, and Joe were talking. Uh, Briefly, and he mentioned that he was watching The Good Place, and you immediately yeah. attributed that to his wife. It has to be. <laughs> that is some shit that she makes you watch when football season is not in. <laughs> Honey, you don't have anything to do. Then you got a white ass wife. I'm certain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm certain your wife is super white. All the way down to the kegs. pumpkin pie white. <laughs> the bleach white kegs. You know what I'm saying? Pumpkin. No seasoning in the cabbage white. And. <laughs> Uh, the good play. That I mean, I don't even know the you show. You gave him the barrel proof whiskey. I did. You did. I don't yeah, even I know the show, but the title lets me know it's some white shit. It's it the is the good place. The good place. Well, hey, yeah. So the, the good. It's actually a spinoff of Good Times. <laughs> I know it's. Not. <laughs> oh, it's Everybody's not. dead. Yeah. Damn. Well, we're damn, moving on down. Damn. Down to the hell. <laughs> So hell no, no. Kristen, Kristen Bell is in it, and she is. She's lovely. In, she's she, a lovely. She was in. Uh, what was the? What was I the know sh- Kristen Bell. Yeah. What's the show she did with? She uh, was in Frozen. Yeah. No, not Frozen. She was in um, with uh, with uh, oh, War I Machine. I don't know white credits. No. Uh, the <laughs> Mad Max. In it? God damn it! Um, with the black dude, the War Machine. Okay. Not the not the MMA Black fighter. Panther? No, God. <laughs> War Machine. War Machine. Black, Black dude. House of, House of Lies. Oh okay. yeah, House of Lies. Oh Don Cheeto, weird looking ass. Yeah. Yes. yes. I like Donnie Chee. He's cool. Uh yeah. Oh, yeah, she was on that. It's her and him. Yeah, yeah, she's the white the white chick. I know her from some other shit. I can't think right now. I'm certain. Look, I'm certain it's a very happy white ass show. <laughs> very white. It's you know no, it's, no, it's, no it's, it's I bet it's how I met your motherish. It's, it's one of <laughs> couldn't be I further. I you, it's, couldn't be further. You are so incorrect. And I'm probably yeah. way off, but I'm just saying. Ted, it's Ted one of Danson's the, in it. It's one of the, yeah, happy, happy white ass. Everything's great, ass motherfuckers. I already know what type of show it, this is. No, it's it's, it's completely no. incorrect. Yeah, you couldn't. The be good more, place. The good place. It's, it's basically set in hell. Like no, literal it's hell. literally said the hell. saddest so. show. This is a show that had quite a few niggas on it. This show was just <laughs> called "This Is Us," yeah. and that was a rough, hard ass show. Yeah, no, that did is. You wa- you did this not watch. is us. Did you watch that shit? No, that is y'all. You watch this is this is a uh, your wife no, didn't my make you. Parents, I don't listen. Yeah. I don't listen to You're, my wife. Okay, her yeah. instructions is is for me to ignore. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not fucking buying into. This is us? <laughs> no, bitch. I'll pass. This is us. Me walking the fuck out as you watch some crying niggas. I'm I'm a pass, bro. What is so what is what is forgive That's on my, my Hulu playlist, but I haven't. Yeah, are you I've, feminine I've domesticated? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't either, but say it again. It just means your bitch control you. Like <laughs> Oh, if you up watching the good place, <laughs> feminine domestic. It's at least feminine. The reason I say it's feminine domestic, even if you ain't got no bitch and you watching it, there's uh-huh. enough bitch in you <laughs> that would make you go. I think I'm. A, I think I'm a spectate. I think I'm gonna be here to is, see is, what happens through all of the season. Is this when I tell you that I watch it without her? Uh oh, <laughs> she got your ass. <laughs> Yeah. You started brewing this shit to get bitches. That's what it was. <laughs> and they took over your ass. <laughs> they had one sip. You need a little bit more corn. More corn hose? Hose, I need corn. <laughs> and you went out and bought a fucking five guy sack of corn. <laughs> what? This is what the hoes want. Those are peanuts. I don't know what that is. Bruno, <laughs> this is what the hoes want. A five guys sack of corn? Bruno got the potatoes that be sitting oh. in the front with their fries. Oh. He had a big ass one of them, just corn. We just wound him up and said, "This is what the hoes want, Bruno. (laughs) Give me more corn, please." (laughs) You brought it a Native American. Is this the right corn? Is this the right (laughs) shit? I am. Tell me, is this the shit that they took from you? Do you? you, Oh, so Trey, do you and the wife have a TV show? Deeply confused. Do y'all watch shows together? We watch shit that I suggest. I'm not watching shit. Trey's Trey's in command of his household. My wife loves law shows. I fuck with a couple episodes, but Uh but we watching the whole season of my shit. But like, I'll give you a couple episodes, especially if like like if she do something dope that I ain't really into. Like if she suck my dick, I'm not really into blowjobs, but I'm like, you know what? Another nigga would have really appreciated this. (laughs) So. 
I'm going to watch one of your shows with you. You are the black Archie Bunker. Just to pay homage. season of NHL hockey. Yeah. That's my shit. That's my shit. So we watch, like, like for me, we watch an American Gods. Okay. Uh, but mainly the the re- the recent shit, we just been binge watching white shows we was deprived of. <laughs> so we'll watch like Breaking, we watch all the Breaking Bad, uh-huh. you know, yeah. Better Call Saul. We watch sure, all the sure. Frasier. All the, we'll just wait, watch wait, a bunch. Wait, of, all the Frasier. <laughs> oh, bro, that's great writing, bro. Christopher Lloyd and all them. And that's I, great I wanna, writing. I want to pull back a little bit. Okay. He brought up he brought up Breaking break. Bad and Frasier. He brought up Breaking that's Bad, Rob. Right? Right. Uh, you you made the point earlier today. So How did they manage to film? They did. They filmed a whole movie without a anybody whole knowing. Damn An movie. Yeah. Entire Breaking Bad. Yeah, and nobody squealed. Why would anybody squeal? The key to the shit is not saying a bitch ass thing. Well, what? But we, yeah, but somebody there's in the who? age of the internet. They will kill your ass. No, it's a move. They're not really in the mafia or the fucking <laughs> drug cartel. You don't, don't get it. No, <laughs> Rob. Oh, there's so many. But no, in the age of fucking cell phones and in the fact that nobody even leaked out. There's not a crew not a member. Picture, not okay, I'll tell you. What, I'll tell you. Somebody my, working craft services. Can I give you my theory? Not uh-huh. a person said, "Hey, I saw Aaron Paul making yeah, a movie." Yeah, so Aaron Paul over and was wherever. making a movie with the guy who created fucking Breaking Bad. He's doing my, something. Here's yeah, my like, theory. Nobody was like, "Where's Vince?" Right. Oh, he's off. Uh, yeah, Vince nah. Gilligan. Nowhere. My theory is What'd that they hired a bunch of old people. <laughs> they hired a bunch of motherfuckers that's down we for keeping forgot. secrets. <laughs> yeah. No, not forget that's hilarious. They but no, a bunch of Alzheimer's because victims. it's young motherfuckers that always want to be popping. No, uh-huh. I guarantee. I feel like nobody on the set was in their twenties or even early thirties. I think they was like, we only hire motherfuckers well, thirty and up. We, that's because fair. You, because I don't have enough tell, time to be famous. Because Rob, if that's they tell fair. you don't say shit, don't say shit right. to nobody that will say shit. Mm-hmm. Yo, real talk, you will understand the sincerity in that and be like, all right, man, I ain't saying shit. I will clarify. Bullshit. That's him calling you old. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Just I to that, that but, like I get that. Anyway, well, I, so. you know, I just use Rob because he's the oldest. I could have used all three of you motherfuckers. But, but, yeah. but, but if <laughs> simmer down now. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Touch my arm again. No. Uh, <laughs> the in fairness though, if you were working on the set yeah. of the new That's Breaking Bad movie, uh huh. Yeah. It would take you how long to post anything on actual social media? Twenty seconds. Nah. You take a picture. Oh, okay. You'd get it to Facebook. Yeah. But after that, FYI, I'm working on the fucking Breaking Bad movie. You might get it to Facebook, but yeah. your your pipeline is. Or you can text it to your buddy. And you had your non disclosure agreement that would yeah. cost you half a million dollars. He's retired. What does he yeah. care? Yeah, right. he don't give a shit. But but I, apparently this is why they had to push back Saul uh, 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 because they were filming this fucking movie. Hmm. So does it take place? It's a prequel. It takes place five minutes after the series. But when he's Pinkman, dead. When, no, Pinkman. It's Pinkman. It's Pinkman's story. So is yeah. so. It's Pinkman, it's Pinkman escaping escape. from the, the motherfuckers. Right, yeah. but what's his name's not in it? He's dead. No, he's dead. That no. was my question. Well, no, that's how not. that's how they filmed it. Well, no, I mean he Pinkman, wasn't around. He oh, was the main. Cranston went around. Well, he was the main fucking guy. I mean, well, he's one of the two main guys. But Cranston's not in this at all. It's just a. Post. We don't know. Nobody knows. Oh, don't nobody know shit. Yeah. IMDb knows. It's no. an hour and a half no. of you can go dash look at, cam of Jesse oh, Pinkman Jesus driving across uh, New Mexico. The yeah. only th- I'm, I'm somebody, mad somebody said it may be all in a car. I'm mad yeah. about this now. The whole the perfection to Breaking Bad is the fact that it didn't it didn't go further than it should have. Yeah, it went five seasons and it checked the fuck out. Sure, it pulled the ripcord on its on its uh-huh. shoot. Right. And it coasted to the ground like a man, and it waved at the adoring crowd, and it went off. But then to somebody live its threw. Life. Probably $10 million yes. at Gilligan. And now they're going to do more. Yeah. And oh, okay. You want well, some more? Not, Here you no, go. No, but you know what? I appreciate them just doing it as a feature film. Like to continue it as just a movie. Here's why, but yeah, rather you, than you, drag out three seasons of, of fucking Jesse on the run. What they, which is what <laughs> yeah. they probably wanted to do. Deadwood did it right. Yeah. They put out a movie. They went, we didn't finish yeah. the story. So here's, here's a, movie. a movie. Yeah. Breaking Bad, finish the story. Curb your enthusiasm did it. What? Y'all never seen Clear History? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh we're going to take a quick break before Trey says something ridiculous. Uh, uh, Trey's here, Rob's here, uh, Joseph oh, Brady. Fuck you! Did it. Oh, it was, fuck us. You shut awful, your mouth. Movie. We're coming right back. It was uh, fucking great. JB was crushing it. <laughs> I'm literally Obscure taking your mic forever. Right. We'll be right back on the Whiskey Brothers podcast. Question? Comments? Just need to vent? Email us at podcast at praisewhiskey.com. Welcome back, Whiskey Brothers Podcast. You you guys keep saying clear history in the background. Is it it's a movie, I'm guessing? It's a movie. Yeah. What, who, HBO movie? Is it the one about is it the one about uh Leah Romani and the uh no. and the Scientologist? No, no. That was clear. It's written by Larry it's David. Not, it's about yeah. it's basically shit, to me it's like it's like Tesla, but like 
Yeah, it's uh, a guy who kind of invented a fucking website or something. And no, he sells nah, you got it all wrong. God damn it, old oh. man brain. He <laughs> <laughs> Lick old man balls. Old oh, man brain. <laughs> it's okay. You're good at hiding secrets. <laughs> We'll shoot, a, we'll shoot a whole movie. No one will. Ever know. <laughs> Rob will keep it close. Um, <laughs> this guy makes a car called a Howard. Oh yeah. Mary yeah. Davis character is attached yeah. to making the car, but right. they disagree on the name. Mm -hmm. He cuts him out, goes away. Larry David has to restart his life over. Goes to this neighborhood in Martha's Vineyard. The guy shows up to move into the house. Next so door. Larry, yeah. yeah. Larry David plants the plots to kill him, but the guy wants to give him his share. Of the money that he was yeah, like, so that's the conflict. Good. It's not good. But it, nigga, please. <laughs> good. The, the improv in it is, it's like Kurt, it's how, like, the thing that made Curb awesome. Yeah, that's it's what Larry they David had. being Larry David. It's Larry and, David, J.B. Smooth, Michael Keaton, uh, Tom uh, Hanks movie uh, what's suburban. that boy? Danny McBride, <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's dope. Dope right. fucking cast. It's I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be okay. 2013, you know, I'm a few years back. That that's a. Uh, I didn't say it was a must see. I uh, clearly not. God damn. Um, I don't know what you said. I made the movie. The what are you talking about? Bruh. All right. Who was that? No, that no, the no. Jew from no, Coming to America? No, that was yeah. Larry David. I know he was that. Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, where, wherever we were, the uh -huh. the Breaking Bad. When does the Breaking Bad movie come out? In like in a month, September. Uh, oh no, October. So October eleventh, I think. Netflix like a month and a half. Yeah. All right. Netflix and AMC site it appears on Netflix in the morning, so you can watch it. But then that night, it's going to be on AMC. So they'll play it like a regular episode. Yeah. And the, yeah. Yeah. All right. I good on them. So you can watch it with commercials. Good. Great. Yeah. Right. I want them oh, to do. Shit. I want them to do the connection between. They always say Breaking Bad takes. Is it the same universe or it's a the Breaking yeah. Bad is a prequel, prequel to the to Walking the, Dead? Yeah, like his his fucking. The meth. crack is the reason. Yeah, his meth. The was, meth is the reason yeah. that people became zombies. Yeah. That's oh show me. Oh my god! Look, they're reaching. I get it. This but is th white people. It's. <laughs> this is white people. Have you it? heard? Have you also heard that the Flintstones? Oh, the Jetsons is a prequel to the Flintstones. I have heard that as yeah. well. The well, Flintstones is, is a prequel, prequel to the Jetsons. No. Yes. I I fucked yes. with that idea. Yeah, because it's, it's like the same it's fucking like a show? post post nuclear fucking whatever apocalypse happens. Yeah, and they still have some technology. So the Jetsons is the prequel the to Jetsons the Flintstones. Jetsons is the prequel. They and have that all this explains why there's no black all people. The, all the and, there's no black people in either show. Well, they're they're either androids. Show. The animals are androids. Actually, that's why they can talk and communicate with so them. So they can't feel. So it's not real slavery. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, what, what the fuck happened? <laughs> conversation. Always get, when I hear the word slavery out of white people's voices, <laughs> it, the conversation shifts. It gets weird. The, Trey, it's a the animals in which the mean it could be I, have it could be, got it, it could be in the same universe. It could be in the same universe as Westworld, yeah. for that matter. But if you they're know? androids, they're not slaves. Yeah, yeah. Right? they're just robots. So there you go. Yeah, that's a uh, so so. What else? Uh, all I, in the you know all what? in the family. The Jeffersons. That was yeah. all the same. They all spun off. They all spun off. But the same the same universe. What's crazy is. The Jeffersons spun off of All in the Family, but then Maud, uh, was it Maud? No, uh, Good Times spun off of the Jeffersons. Wait, no. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, JJ lived in the same world as the fucking Jeffersons, as, yeah. as George Jefferson. Yeah, and that never crossed yeah. over. And Maud was also spun off. Of that, that's weird. I would have uh, given money to the see the same world as Archie Bunker. Yeah, she was Archie's right. sister-in-law. Yeah. She Wait, was Edith's what? sister. Yeah, Maude was Edith, Edith's sister. No. Yeah. That's what they spun off of that. Did they ever quit? Well, hang on. Was Maude ever on All yeah, of the Family? Yeah, all the time. That's why she got her spinoff. She would go on there and she was the liberal arguing with Archie. <clears throat> what? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what y'all saying. I think South Park is yes. the prequel to Futurama. <laughs> 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 you just... <laughs> Making stuff up, Trey. Right? You just uh, named two cartoons. She was yeah. either the sister in law or the sister of, of Edith. Chappelle's the, show uh, is the prequel to Key and Peele. <laughs> and then there's the Happy Days universe. Uh, Happy, Day, yeah. Happy Days gave us Mork and Mindy. Yeah. <laughs> that whole universe yeah. over there. What are these conversations just killing me? <laughs> you don't think? I don't discount that. That's that's a, Chappelle's show is the prequel to Key and Peele. Yeah, well. It was like know. we had one nigga okay. present sketches. Let's get two. Well, like, I would like, submit living accurate. in living color. Probably was the prequel. That's yeah. not the same universe as Chappelle's show. Oh, not even close. Just because Chappelle didn't have fly girls. <laughs> yeah, on screen. Yeah, come but on. Yeah, it was Mork and Mindy. Yeah, but he had Kanye. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Mark and right. Mindy mm-hmm. came from Happy Days. I did know yep. that. I remember that. Laverne and Shirley came from Happy Days. True. Also, something, oh. a little thing you never heard. Uh, uh, fucking just like heaven or something like that. It was Seventh, seventh Heaven. He- no, nah, it was a film. It was an angel. Was this the Michael Landon show? No, it was an angel. Is a sitcom. An angel came to Earth and he f- dealt with. He was. It was sort of the. The Fonzie's version of It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, God. If you had never been born, that kind of thing. So that guy who played the angel, got his own fucking show. They were and just it ran giving like, shit away. They were just, ABC was in a rut. Because Joni and they give, they give a shit away now. Oh, yeah. yeah. They got a show called God Friended Me. Yeah. Surprise, <laughs> nigga! Not anymore. <laughs> Back in the day, they when got there was only four ah, stations. So, yeah. Thank had Christ. To watch God unfriended me. Yes. Yeah. Wait, so it's canceled? Thank Christ. I believe so, yeah. I mean, mercifully. Yeah. We have and then, then, then Joni loves and you Chachi. Have to watch it. Joni loves Chachi spun off I remember of the that. Happy Day and fucking Laverne and Shirley. Oh. And Laverne and Shirley spun off, I think, I might be wrong here. Oh, I don't God. quote me, but I think there was a fucking uh, uh, Linny and Squiggy. They tried to do a There's fucking There's no they tried way. To do a Linny and Squiggy. I think they yeah, tried they to. Yeah. An actual show. Yeah. How are the ladies? Here's something yeah. very accurate. Moesha it, is the prequel to the Parkers. It did not make it through the first episode, I don't think. <laughs> did you know that, Brayden? Of course it didn't. <laughs> so wait, Moesha is the but, prequel to the Parkers. But, the Parkers is a spinoff. But Family Matters is a spinoff of uh, Full House? Perfect Strangers. Perfect Strangers. I don't wait. know Perfect Strangers. Yeah. yeah. With Balky Bartokamas. Yeah. What? The PJs go in there somewhere. The, so <laughs> the PJs. That's hilarious. <laughs> Hang on. Actually, I just made that up. How much... <laughs> And actually, in, in reality, it should be a spinoff of Die Hard. Same fucking character. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, he was a b- big, fat, black cop. You know, same fucking character. That's funny. We that just follow Carl him home. Oh, he was. That was, was. Carl Winslow. That was Carl funny. Yeah. And we just follow him home. Yeah, and we just follow him with some big Coke bottle glasses. Yeah, he showed up. Breaking his... Bro, I'm sorry. Baby, that I was just in went... Nakatomi Towers, and you wouldn't believe what happened. Family Matters went on too and long. I knew that. The moment Urkel <laughs> breaks your shit at a black house, he's no longer Steve Urkel. <laughs> what? He's here lies, Steve Urkel. <laughs> he ain't fucking alive. The shit Urkel was breaking in this house. <laughs> That's how you know Carl was a house nigga. Just you just constantly forgive it. Oh, Steve, you just get mad. Did I? Here, let me fix this drywall. <laughs> you stupid blob black bastard. <laughs> we done froze his ass in that little fucking whatever that machine is. He come out as Stefan Urkel. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, we done unplugged that bitch with a minute. Let me out. <laughs> Die of thirst, bitch. <laughs> no, he had a, he had, it was a broke our family portrait. He, he had a potion. He had a po- no, no, no. He would get in the little. No, he had a potion. Okay, nigga, but he would get you in. You guys are co- you guys are yeah, totally y'all debating. Know way more about because he right went here. below. Uh, the, he, he, he took will, the potion. But he, and he went but he, behind the couch and not, he came up as Stefan. It evolved give me, give me, today. Two, give me yeah. two seconds, Joe. I'm gonna let you. Joe's just gonna pour up some uh, whiskey for me and him. Well, you no, you put your glass down. Winner's, oh. gonna, winner's gonna get one. Uh, okay. Here, I'll hold your microphone. Uh, just hang on, Rob. You gotta win. Uh, I so do win. Please present. Tell me how Steve turned into Stefan in thirty yeah, seconds or less. Kind of, he, he took some kind of thing. He you took, shut up. You took get your some fucking. He took some fucking potion that he made to make himself cool, and he fucking drank it or shot it up or whatever they fucking did. I don't know. Okay. And then he went behind the couch and he popped up as fucking Stefan. There was no fucking... Did he do the staircase thing when he went down? No, he went down. He, he, he pop up his head. I am here. Okay. I am here. Like two or three times and like the third time. Now, Come Trey, up. educate us please on Bro, the, the... I the forgot the, the name of it, but family he would go more. in this fucking this telephone booth, <laughs> this Clark Kent-like shit. Yeah. He would go in and he would, he would go in as Urkel and then he would come out is and he like, Doctor Who Dat? No, <laughs> but he would come out in like a fly ass fucking. Uh, that was true. Uh, what the fuck is it called? Suit. <laughs> he would come out. <laughs> he'd have on a dope ass suit. You yeah. see, as uh-huh. Mister Cool. No, I yeah. think that it. No, I'm saying I think that is one of the ways. Yeah, maybe there were multiple I, ways to bring I, in Stefan. I think, but I know one of them for sure. He would go in like a little fucking, yeah. you know, like a telephone booth, time yeah. machine type thing. Doctor Who Dat, and then come out. That was Clark Kent. <laughs> no, no, this shit was fly because this nigga had buttons Dude, I'm going to create Dr. Who that. He's going to be the fucking, it's like Dr. Who, but Who it's that? a fucking. Uh, he's a Saints, Saints fan? fan? Yeah. He's just some voodoo yeah. dude in uh, New yeah. Orleans. He's going to have the suit? Oh, he gets Dr. Who that? How's nobody done Dr. Who that? It's got to be a green suit, right? He gets in a telephone booth, but it's T-E-L-E-F-E-A-U-X. 
<laughs> oh, it is. Oh, well, there. it's police. It doesn't say telephone. It's, <laughs> yeah, a, oh, that's it's telephone. a police box, sir. You know, Excuse me. For I don't mean to, you know. All right. You got yeah, your TARDIS. Right. It's a time and relative dimension. In fair, space. fair. Oh, please right. correct me on my Sorry. Doctor Who knowledge. Sorry. It's, it is a police that, box. That have way too many words in New Orleans. But there was no long yeah. O. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys, yeah, you have box. policio. <laughs> you, you all have, home, not you, the folks at home have homework to go figure out the truth behind Stefano Kell. Oh, bro, it's probably both. Or they could just yeah, go outside. Steve was smart. He probably yeah. evolved Kiss into the girl. potion. I don't know. I could see he yeah, had the potion and then nah. probably created the device to make it easier for the transformation. You know what bothers me? Laura was not that fine. Like, I not just even felt close. Like, no, yeah. You could have been going crazy behind a way bad a bitch. I felt like Jody Sweeten was the hotter of the, the yeah. family, whoa, the full house whoa. ones. Over, oh, <laughs> Jody Sweeten over now, DJ now, Tanner? Now. Well, when I was eight. Oh, yeah, okay. Whatever. Sure. The, yeah, no, I mean, look at, anyway, the, we could debate Now, this. they're yeah, clearly. Yes. That other one's a crazy but, Jesus freak with wild eyes. But back, if you removed her personal, <laughs> she does have crazy she eyes. She does crazy How can eyes. you spot that? Like, you can just, you ever Instantly. just look at people and it's you're instant. like, I can tell by the eyes? Yeah, oh, bitch, you insane. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. They got the devil dancing in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you can see him in the pupil. Come on, nigga, you want to go for a ride? <laughs> it's going to get interesting. <laughs> You don't know what you're going to wake up with. <laughs> Go up to him and say hi. They say, hi, I'm blessed. <laughs> oh, God. Good, Good credit of VD. We don't know yet. <laughs> Jump on board. Why can't it be both? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't one of them full house bitches finna get locked up. Oh, she it was Jody Sweeten was going for the, to. Uh, she, was a, she was doing math for a while. For yeah. the court, for the uh, college shit. Oh, oh that's, oh, that's Re a, Rebecca. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Re the one for Mary, Lori, Lori Laughlin. Yeah, she was. Yeah. She was married to. St uh, yeah, I put Stamos. I just Stamos had, yeah, in the man, middle. bunch of weird. Yeah, uh, oh fuck that. They all. weren't married in real life. Yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. but I Stamos I, can do not his real wife. Much better. They anyway. Stamos I, can pull. He I raised Rebecca a, Romaine. Yeah. So that's why I get it confused. So Lori, but her name on the show was Rebecca. Yeah. Maybe, so I get but they weren't married in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah but Becky, my point is, TV so shows if aren't a, real life. Yeah, I'm gonna if stab a chick with a is your TV the, wife, do you have the right to smash? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bitch, look, we got to get into character. <laughs> ah, ah, no, ah. they actually have intimacy coaches that yeah. come on. Trey, on yeah, that's how we got Weinstein. All right, that's how Weinstein. <laughs> no, that's not. Nah, not real. This shit was a power thing. Urkel okay. was not a real person. I also don't. I, I don't know how much uh, explanation to just how things in life that work. I can squeeze in before the episode's do over. Do you get to smash? That, <laughs> would, that would be in my contract. <laughs> would, I get bro, to smash I, you? I have to fuck this hoe to get into character. I mean, I'm sure there's not a pro. Do you if, look? If you want me to be an extra for this stadium scene, I'm gonna have to fuck the bitch I'm standing next to. <laughs> If you it's wanna... the only way I can get pumped up for the game. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to who chill? Hired, who hired go Rockets, guy? go. <laughs> I'm going to have to fuck the bitch. You're literally this. being paid $3 a day. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, if they want to throw down with Maude, I'm sure they you weren't stopping them. need yeah. to put this sandwich <laughs> down. Look, all right, look, I ain't got to smash. <laughs> Can she kiss my dick? If she just kiss it a little bit. On behalf of uh, all of the Whiskey Brothers. Uh, Can Sam we Dem nose kiss? Can we do that rubbing nose shit? It is Sam and Dale, who aren't with us, uh, Joseph Breda sitting in and bringing us fine whiskey. We will Thanks, uh, take a shot of the barrel proof on our way out. Uh, thank you guys for listening. You can always find uh, this fine whiskey, not this whiskey, but some like it uh, all throughout Texas, including into Austin. And go check out the new tasting room when it opens. We're coming out. We will see you guys. All the major men. There. They don't want no problem. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye. <laughs>